Amanda Todd. One of the biggest problems I have with this story is how people are letting the tragedy that was her suicide overshadow the other issues that are involved with the story and caused the suicide. Now, her suicide was a completely different topic, and I'm not going to talk about that at all today. I'm talking about the other issues involved with the story that should be talked about more, I feel, as people discuss the issues. The two main points I have are about the school system and her parents. No, let me rephrase that. Her really shitty parents. Now, if you haven't been following the story at all, the Amanda Todd story, um, I will loosely try and piece it together for you real quick so we can move on to the topics at hand. Amanda Todd was a young girl who made a mistake with a webcam. Um, a creepy guy took pictures, basically stalked her until she got to high school, forced her to move several times. This combined with other things led to drugs and alcohol, which eventually led to her suicide. And it's a sad story, but those are the qu that's the footnote version of it. There's a lot more to it, and I encourage you guys to go look up and read about it, but I need to move on. The school fail. Now, I grew up being bullied. I know everyone can say they did at some point in their life, but very few people know what it's like to be shunned by an entire class of students because you're Asian and they're white. I know I don't look it so much now, but that was the case when I was growing up. Um, not a lot of people got to got to go through elementary school having watching their teacher watch them get pushed over by the other kids in gym class and having everyone laugh at them. I mean, the reason I bring these things up just real quick is not this is story is not about me and I don't want to make it about me, but I have the credibility. I've been there, I've experienced it, and being bullied sucks. And unless you've truly truly been bullied, you don't really know what it feels like. And I say this because I've got a lot of friends who try to relate to this story but they just really can't, not on a deeper level. So I've seen firsthand between elementary school and high school how bad and terrible the school systems are dealing with this. Now if you go watch shows like Degrassi or Glee, they over-dramatize the level of bullying, but all that stuff really does happen. I've got friends in the States who've told me horror stories when they were growing up, you know, grade 10 literally being shoved into a locker. Up here in Canada, we're lucky. I've My whole life I saw that stereotype on TV and always laughed off because never once going through high school did I see someone shoved into a locker. Now I know that kind of makes me like the first world problem bullying victim type thing, but the reality is all this stuff does happen and it happens at school. And there, I see tons of people commenting on the stories and the threads on the Huffington Post, YouTube, etc. blaming the school system. And while they're not wrong, I feel that like the shock that is schools aren't as safe as we thought they were should not be something that's not already common knowledge. Everyone should know this. I mean, this is the place where you you trust these people to take care of your kids, your children, for six to eight hours a day. None of this should be anything that comes to surprise to anybody. And the fact that it is, is just shocking to me in and of itself. Now maybe the school didn't have the capacity or the resources or the manpower to notice everything that's going on with every kid. Granted, I know you can't hold everyone's hand throughout their entire school life. Especially when you've got 300 plus kids at your school. Especially once you get to high school. I mean, there's just way too many people to count. And I highly doubt any teacher knows every kid individually. However, there's enough teacher staff combined with concerned kids who would actually do something about this rather than be the ones bullying that I think something should have been dealt with prior to this. I would not be surprised if one of Amanda's few friends had gone to a teacher and said, hey, my friend's kind of getting bullying. And the teacher probably just thinks nothing of it. It's like, oh, it's just another teenager. It's This happens all the time. I've been working here for five years. This is nothing new. Um, and I, I don't think that we can afford to really have people like that in charge of our kids. But that, I'm not lobbying against schools. That's whatever. I'm just saying I feel a large part of this does rely, or sorry, fall back onto the fact that the teachers, the school, the school itself, the principal, however you want to look at the administration, they should have noticed something was going on, especially when you have... 14 plus kids surrounding someone at school pushing them down. I mean, that's not something that goes untalked about. You hear this in the hallway and I feel that the school should have done something even if it was as simple as just alerting the parents. The parenting fail. Now look, I'm not a parent. I don't have a kid. I don't know what it's like to have children. But what I do have is common sense, which is definitely something I feel a lot of parents lack. Now, that being said, let's say hypothetically you take your kid to a playground. Son, daughter, doesn't matter. And it's your favorite playground. And you get there, and on the bench sits this creepy guy with his hand down his pants, taking pictures of all the kids. No way in hell are you going to leave your kid alone in that playground. That would just be stupid. Guess what, like, 90% of the internet is. But lo and behold, you go home, 
Your daughter's got a computer. You've bought her her MacBook for Christmas. You've given her full internet access, and it's got a webcam built in. Somehow that's okay, though, because despite the fact that it's the internet, she's probably only talking to her friends online. This is unfortunately the point of view I think a lot of parents have, and the reality is that's, that's not what happens at all. Now, the part that I find even more disturbing is the fact that while all this is going on, where she's moving town to town, she's being bullied by kids and gets into drugs and alcohol, there's a severe lack of parenting intervention. Now granted, there's kind of that mentality of, oh, she's a teenager, she's just doing drugs because that's what teenagers do. But unless you're some rich, white, suburban kid that has nothing better to do and trying to kill boredom, you don't typically get into harder, heavier drugs. You don't have a drinking problem at the age of 14 because you're trying to cope with problems that you don't know how to deal with and you're not equipped emotionally to deal with. And the parents, I don't know the situation, I think they're divorced or something because she, she talks about having lived with her mom and her dad and moving from town to town with one or the other. Um, the reality is, even disconnected, those parents should have sensed something was wrong and either talked to the other parent so that everyone's in the loop or talked to their freaking daughter in the first place. Oh honey, you're being bullied? Let's talk about that instead of like, oh here's some alcohol or my purse is open, go steal money from it. Like, I, I feel that the lack of interest or the lack of interaction that her parents had with her leading up to her suicide, I feel a lot of it maybe could have been prevented had there been that additional support that I think she severely lacked. Between the schooling and the parents, I feel a lot of issues have fallen through the cracks on this, and the ones that are left remaining have still been overshadowed by the actual events themselves. While this was a sad story, I can't help but feel this is going to be another Coney 2012 where the media is hyped up because it's recent, it's tragic, and everyone wants to get involved with stopping bullying. But the reality is, like Coney, it's probably going to fade into the background and nobody will care about it in a month or two. But the issues are real, the issues are underlying, and they affect our kids every day. Speaking firsthand, I know how rough bullying is, and it's not something you can just cure with a snap of your fingers, but it's also not something that's going to get solved if we don't do anything about it. And I just hope that these issues have been brought to light maybe a bit more clearly to the people who weren't quite considering them after having watched this video. Again, sorry for the super serious one, guys, but I just had to get it out.